With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, a stone is allowed to fall from the top of a tower 100 meter high and at the same time, another stone is projected vertically upwards from the ground with a velocity of 25 meter per second. Calculate when and where the two stones will meet. And these are the given options we have. Okay. Now we are given a building. Okay. Or, or a tower. Okay. Like this, we are having a tower of total length 100 meters. Okay. So this is the total length of the tower that is 100 meters. Now a stone is dropped from the top of the tower. And at the same time, a stone is thrown vertically upward from the ground level okay from the ground level towards in the upward direction with a velocity of 25 meter per second okay now we have to find when and where the two stones will meet okay so let's say at a distance of x from the ground these two stones are meeting okay that means that uh, let's say the down stone the stone in the that is performing the upward motion has covered x displacement okay and the stone coming downward has covered how much 100 minus x meters okay of the displacement so and let's say they are meeting after t time let's say they are meeting after t time so now we have writing for the first stone okay that is this stone upper one okay this stone which is performing the downward motion so we have the equation as s equals to ut plus half a t square okay so here the s the displacement of the upper stone is 100 minus x okay so this is 100 minus x equals to the initial velocity of this stone is zero because it is dropped okay so and also we have to take this as negative if i am taking the downward direction to be negative y axis and upward to be positive y axis okay so this would be displacement is minus of 100 minus x and this is half into the acceleration on this stone will be in the downward direction that is minus g only okay so we can write the value of g as minus 10 t square okay so here we can cancel out the negative sign and this value of g equals to 10 can be cut out by 2 so we will get 100 minus x equals to 5 t square so let this be equation number 1 now writing the equation for the second stone Okay, the stone which is going in the upward direction so again using the same equation of motion s equals to ut plus half at square we will get here s is x only okay the displacement of the this stone okay downward stone equals to the velocity is initial velocity is 25 t minus we will get here half into the acceleration due to gravity would be in the negative x in the negative y direction that is minus 10 into t square okay so here we will get x equals to 25 t minus 5 t square okay let this be equation number 2 so now to solve further let me add equation 1 plus equation 2 so we will get here 100 minus x plus x on the lhs and on the rhs we will get 5 t square plus 25 t minus 5 t square okay so from here 5 t square and x will cancel out and we will get 25 t equals to 100 so from here we will get t equals to 4 seconds that means after 4 seconds the two stones will cross each other right this is the first part of the question next we have to find at what distance they are meeting so i can put the value of t equals to 4 seconds in equation 2 so i will get here 25 into 4 minus 5 into 4 square that is 16 so we will get x equals to this is 100 minus 80 so that is 20 meters so we have found the value of x equals to 20 and x we measured from the ground so from the given options we have a b c and d the two stones will meet at after t equals to 4 seconds 
right and they will meet at the distance of 20 meter from the ground so option d is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today